That's a big African. Okay, you can listen. hit his buddy. Okay, that would be. Give him that extra foot. I need one more foot before I can swing on him. Oh. Watch your feet. Damn, yeah. We did it. We caught a big African pompano. And I'm about to tell you a little secret. A little secret how we caught that pompano. But first I'm gonna take a, what it, we are now in October. So I'm gonna celebrate with a Jack O'Lantern pumpkin ale from Samuel Adams. Now I'm gonna tell you a secret. Where's my tripod? I got a secret. So I was a little sick on this trip. Figured I wasn't gonna film, but we caught a huge fish and I pushed the record button. You're about to see that footage. But since I don't have any footage before that, I'm just gonna explain right now what I was doing. So here in the Florida Keys, there's a ledge that runs all down the reef, all down the Keys, where it goes from like 20 to 30 feet. That's where you snorkel and stuff. And then right off the ledge from that, it goes down to 90 to 120 feet. It's a ledge, it's like boom. And all we did was 4.30 p.m., so it's kind of late in the day, and we just trolled these guys right here. This is the Rapala X-Rap 30 Magnum. It's got a big old lip on it, it's green colored, it's got a little shiny glimmer to it, and two nice stainless steel treble hooks. And this is what we trolled. We were trolling about four to five miles an hour. A nice slow troll along the reef's edge. You can actually still see the fishing line. That right there is 30 pound mono filament line with a loop knot. And we had about six feet of monofilament line then going to braid and then to the rod. So it's very simple setup. Just tie on your X wrap and slow troll it along the reef's edge and you'll catch a fish. I'm not sponsored by Rapala. I wish I was, cause I could use a few more of these. So, you know, if, if you out there, if you know someone that works for Rapala, send them this video. Tell them Heiko needs more X wraps. We're just trolling. The sun is going down five miles an hour, right on the resets. And then all of a sudden a rod went Pssst! And that's where this footage starts right now. Oh yeah, fish on, fish on. I'm out of here. Okay, yeah. Let's see if you can make some ground. That, that plug. Oh. Yeah. What do you think? Gaff or nut? Oh, oh. Yeah! Ah, oh, I didn't mark this spot. Here, I'm gonna try to mark it though. Uh, it's coming? It's coming. It's coming, huh? Nah, I don't think it's... Uh, it did run at the beginning. Yeah, I mean, it, it could be. Could be. Really? That's what I think it is. 100 percent. It could also be a black gerber. It's staying pretty low too, though. We shall see. It's wide. Do you sure. think we need the gaff? It's wide, for sure. Yeah, grab that gaff in case. Is that an African pop? Yeah, it looks like an African. I know, I was, if that's an African pop. If it is, that'd be awesome. That would be like money shot. Oh, so much to do, yeah. Just keep okay. on keeping oh, on. Okay. You bring it up, bring the rod up, and then reel a little bit down. He's, yep. It's wide, that's, that might be an African. Yeah, that might be. Oh my God, it is, dude. I think it is. Oh I really think it is. He's of legal size, too. Yeah. Just, don't let me lose Just keep on doing what you're doing. And if you're. Don't let me lose this fish, I guess. Oh, yep, he's got a buddy. We got a vertical fish. Yep, drop that sucker down. <laughs> but I've been I bought like, the dream photo as like me. Like... Bring him up, babe. It's an African. Come on, pump him that last foot up to where I can gap him. He's swimming. The other one's swimming around him. He's right here. Pump him up to the surface. Yeah, crank down. Pump him up. Pump him up. 
Just... Yeah, now do that one more time where you bring them up like that. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big African. If you can hit his buddy, that would be. Keep on putting it to him. Keep bringing him up. I can't. I can't. I can't do anything. This, this, the rods aren't moving. Buddy was not interested. He was not. I can't, baby. I can't move the rod. Take your time. No rush. I'm about to lose my spine. I don't have a spinal cord. I need help, babe. You want this? I need help. Because listen, I. All right. Keep I fighting him. Fight. Don't stop fighting him. Don't stop. Keep, keep reeling. Keep pumping on him. Baby, I can't. I can't press, press it any farther into my insides. Like, like I, like I'm about to die. Okay. Coming back up here. Okay. Slower pump. Slower pump. We're in no rush here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That's a really good one. I haven't caught one this big for like 10 years. I think just talk to you guys. He's close. Okay, well, okay. It's, 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 Break it's, his soul. Break his soul right now. <laughs> He's a big one. Damn, what a stud. I can't believe his buddy was not in. Yeah, right? Alright, he's coming. Okay, just like the same one I'm doing now. Yeah, real faster on the pumps, or else he, his head starts pointing down again. And that's when he, yeah, yeah, like, because now you got him in the upward spiral. That's when he can't do no more. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Don't stop. Don't stop. Do one more pump. All right. Real hard on the way down. All right. This last bit, you just got to pump him to the top. Yes, now do that like two more times and it'll bring him to the top. Oh. I'm out. I can't, baby, I can't. You got I can't. Yeah, yeah. Keep, a, keep a hand on the reel. All right, hit him hard. Hit him hard now, he's on his way up. His head is pointing up. Should have brought my longer gaff. Right, he's not ready. Well, we got time, we got time. I don't, I, no, I don't have time. Yeah, okay. There we go. His head's pointing up. All right. This is it. This is the pump. Bring him in now. Close to me. One more. One more. Okay. Again. One more. Keep that rod chip. Yeah, you need him to come up right now. Again. Realize. He's real close now. Keep him, keep him coming up, keep him coming up. Keep reeling. Yeah, yeah, I think he... Give him that extra foot. I need one more foot before I can swing on him. Damn! Oh my God. Give him that one crank up to the top. That's all we need. Watch your feet. Holy, that's a stud muffin. That's a big one. Look I reached down for him. <laughs> that was a good shot. I literally can't feel my spine. Holy. Nice gap shot. Good work, babe. Thank you. That's yeah, a lot bigger than the last one you got. Mm -hmm. oh, did you see that hop? He just I went just full vertical. Like chug, like we just... Well, that's sick like that, yeah. That's why he was so hard to reel in. That lip was going backwards on him. Oh, he stood. Good work. He, he didn't want to come up. That Those last two feet. I was going to wait longer, but I couldn't take it anymore. I did the reach down for him. Fish right there. Dude, that's a fish. Oh, look at that face. Yeah, yeah. 
different teamwork. Like I listen, I was no, you like, done. done. I was like, help me, y'all. Like, you did the work on this. I'm gonna, yeah. Hel lift them gonna... gills first. You want the head up by your head. Oh my goodness gracious. I, I can't lift this thing. You got this. Your that hand's gonna have to go the other way around. All right, slap them up. Hold them up. That's a good picture. Yeah. Oh, that is good. Big donkey. I can't even see. Well, like lean them a little more. Yeah, like that. Look at me. Oh my God! Yes. Yeah, that's cool. Get a hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, see my fish? Check out this fish. Yeah. Oh. More. <laughs> you got your workout today. Right? <laughs> Whoa. That was a big fish. And we're about to uh, fillet it up. We're about to cook it. And you're going to watch the whole thing. But first. <whistles> wow. Husk knives. That's what this bad boy right here is. And they're this video's channel sponsor. They sent me this knife like three months ago and they were like, try it out. Let us know if you like it. I've been using it for months now and they keep hitting me up and they're like, hey, uh, how do you like the knife? Are you gonna use it in a video? <laughs> I have so many knives. So if I was gonna do a, like a video review on this bad boy, I had to use it first. As you can tell, there is no rust on it. There's probably like three or four knives that I got sent to me. They wanted me to do a video review on them and I was using them and some of them just got rust on them like within a week. So that's some bad steel or something. I don't know what they're using, like rebar? I don't know what they make their knives out of, but this knife right here, we're about to use it. I just cooked up some lobster and I got it right here. You know what I'm really excited about? Is we're about to cook that huge African pompano. That thing is a trophy. But you know what else is a trophy? A couple of nice lobster tails. And what better way to test out a knife than to open up a lobster tail, get some melted butter, dip it. You know, live the good life with the good tools. Oh, I suck. <laughs> well, the knife is real sharp, but uh, my hand-eye coordination isn't that great. Gosh, dang it. Pull the lobster meat. Okay, I gotta go quick now. Pull the lobster meat right out of the shell. We'll use our knife and chop it up. I mean, this is a sharp knife. Actually, I think, here's one thing. This is a curved blade. I'm extremely used to using flat blades and I'm still trying to get used to the flat, uh, the curved blade, but I'm finding that it almost does the cutting for you when you have a curved blade like this. Look at that lobster piece right there. Yes! <laughs> Hmm. So, hold on. I need, I need more. I want to say something nice about the knife, but I gotta eat th this lobster. Hmm. Hands down though, that was the easiest time I ever had cracking open a lobster tail. These knives are incredibly sharp. I don't know if, uh, my camera. These knives are incredibly sharp. They're Japanese inspired. They got an extremely protective coating on it. They can be resharpened. They don't rust. And I, I've, trust me, I've taken this knife out here in the salt water. Just, you see all that salt water out there? I've taken this knife out there. It's great to have maybe on the John boat. Man, this knife has like a, uh, a hole for your finger. And it's extremely like, I'm like, I feel like I'm a Mortal Kombat. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I was always told don't lick the knife, but when your knife looks this good, you can lick it. Husk, thanks for sending me this knife. I love it. 
show them some love i'm going to leave the link right here if you want to check out their knives their link will also be in the video description below go get yourself one i i'm telling you right now i got a lot of knives in my drawers that sounds weird but i do and this is definitely one that i'm going to be picking out of that drawer probably more often than the other knives because it's a thick blade it's got sturdiness to it it's got a good grip to it it's sharp it's got everything I need in a knife. And the one thing that it has that the other knives don't have is when I take this knife out, everyone in my house is like, damn, what's that? Check them out. Links in the description below. It's time to fillet that huge African pompano and we're gonna cook them up right now. Y'all ain't never seen fish this big? Come on, get them out of there. Get them. Yeehaw. Look at that mackerel in there, too. Oh, we forgot about that, buddy. Yeah, we got that mackerel. With your chicken tender dinner? <laughs> <laughs> it's still good. All right, bring him to the table. You got it. You can do it. Oh, mother of pearls. Throw, slap them on the table. Oh, the same. This is getting slapped AF. One. Right. I need a break. Okay. You got well, I, need a I need a mo. Hiya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's a big old. Yeah, you like that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we'll be okay. yeah. Holy macaroni. I'm kind of interested what was in his I mean, stomach. We I'll shall see. Damn, these are some fat fillets. These are gonna be real nice. Like massive. Oof, that meat looks so good. Right? It's such like a nice white, good, just looks like a good meat. Those, those are some fat ribs, huh? Yeah. That's a massive fillet. Gonna need a bigger table. <laughs> yeah, right? Wow. Holy moly. That's a beauty. That is a mm. Got that meat. Look at that. That's like a 24 inch fillet. <laughs> What do you want to do? Should we loin this up just, a little bit? Or? Yeah, let's just chop them up and make them look good. And... Check out all of our African pompano. That's half of it right there. 
and I cut all the blood lines out and then we're left with these nice fillets and they are super firm like firmer than a steak I would say it's like a like gator gator meat almost oh, interesting. super firm smells good we're gonna put a little bit of the red white and blue blackening on there so we're gonna do a little bit of blackened African pompano on a bed of like Mexican yellow rice with some salsa on it get a little fiesta up in here and check out these avocados I'm gonna put some of these on there pretty big huh <laughs> And that's how we're gonna cook it on up. I'm also gonna vacuum seal some of this fish in here because, you know, save some for later. We got some vacuum sealed AP right here for future dinners. And then we picked ourselves a couple of nice fillets for our, where we're gonna eat these right now. We're gonna blacken them. Oops, I don't have the, look how fresh of a thing this is. <laughs> that lid back on. Looking good. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna heat up some oil, a little bit of butter. Then we're gonna blacken it in there, and here we're making the, the rice. That is our update. We got ourselves one of the most beautiful looking plates we've had in a while. <laughs> Real nice, crispy, blackened African pompano on that rice. Got um, some Brussels sprouts. Our avocado is hard as a rock, so it's not really ripe. <laughs> so we'll eat that tomorrow. And then I got some mango peach salsa that I'm gonna put on top of this. But first, let's just take a bite. You see it? See how wow. white that is? Uh huh. Holy moly. Holy moly is right. Wow, it's so flaky. Wow, look at that. Weird. It's a very firm fish, mm -hmm. but in a in a good way. It's not like like hard or chewy or anything. It's like. Kind of like swordfish almost. That's what I was, that's what I was exactly going to say. With a much lighter flavor to it. Yeah. Same consistency. Probably. You're going to like this one. Oh yeah, that, <laughs> that's a good fish right there. Mmm. You want to be on camera taking a bite? I don't think that. You reeled it in. Remember all that reeling in work you did? Yeah, but you don't, you don't need me. Oh baby. Alright, African pompano is always going to be up there. It's a great eating fish. Something mm. different. Mm-hmm. Super mm. excited. All right. Time to eat. Let's do this.